Wolves 2, Coventry 3, um, and unfortunately out of the FA Cup. Very quickly, I'll address the elephant in the room, which is my eye. I had a massive knock on it yesterday and it's gone very bruised today. Um, uh, but yeah, frustrating afternoon. Not been a great 24 hours for me, as you could probably tell. But frustrating afternoon for Wolves. Um, ultimately, just you could tell that our squad starting lineup today wasn't good enough. That, but on paper, that was the best we could line up with due to injuries. Really let down, really, you know, with the with the players available, um, and that's what cost us today. Starting lineup was as I predicted on the preview. It's what I thought we would play, but I felt, you know, the effect and the impact that Mario Lamina had last week as a left winger just didn't have the same effect today against Coventry. And I think as a neutral, if you watched the game and you weren't aware of the standard of these two teams, I think you probably would have said Coventry were the team that play at a higher level than Wolves. Um, I think, you know, they created more chances, had a little bit more control of the game and just Wolves really, really struggled to get into the game, to be completely honest. First half, created very, very little. I think Nathan Fraser really struggled to to make his stamp on the game. Um, you know, we struggled to break the lines of Coventry and, and, and get it out of our own half, to, go, to be completely honest. And they probably should have been ahead at half time. Um, Ellie Sims had an unbelievable chance, which I don't know how he's not scored, uh, to be completely honest. But going into half-time, nil-nil. I felt that Gary O'Neill shove a rocket up the back of the lads and then try and have a much better second half. But didn't really get off to a great start. Goal from a, a set piece of Coventry. It was Ellie Sims. A long, long check by VAR. I've not seen him back properly. I've seen still images. It looks like the ball does hit his hand, to be honest. Um, and that's probably why... It's taken VAR so long to make a decision on, on whether the goal should stand or not. And ultimately, it was given in the end, um, which gave Wolves a little bit of a mountain to climb. We woke up a little bit then, to be honest. A couple of changes. In the end, I think we had four fullbacks on. Uh, Tomato, Doc, Ain't Nori and Hugo Bueno with the changes. Um, Ain't Nori going a little bit higher and more central. Fantastic opportunity as well for Leon Chiwami, who had come on for his first team debut ahead of Nathan Fraser. Again, still doesn't look the finished product, still looks very raw, but probably in terms of legs and pace, got a little bit more than Fraser. Um, and ultimately, I think, uh, you know, that's what got us our first goal, a ball across from Leon Chowami to, to the right-hand side and in the end, a ball into the area, half cleared by Coventry and Ryan Aitnori, who had been a nuisance all game, firing it in from close range. Massive chance for us to get back into the game. And ultimately, we did, you know, right at the death, 88th minute, I think it was, 89th minute, Hugo Bueno pops up with a winner. Again, phenomenal work by Ryan Aitnori. Plays the ball through and Bueno, great, you know, great composure to put it past, past the goalkeeper. And at that point, I think the stoppage time went up, nine minutes. At that point, though, you think Wolves should be having enough quality, enough experience to see out the game and ultimately get, get the win and get into the semi-final. You know, fans were jubilant. Chance about Wembley, which you would fully expect. I felt at that point, you know, yes, we're going to get through, but did we deserve it? I think on the on the on the surface of the game, I think Coventry were the better side. And frustratingly, you know, they scored two late goals. Both goals annoying. You know, to, to concede an equaliser is one thing. Um, to make it two two, and obviously that is a kick in the teeth. But then to throw it away completely and concede in the you know ninety ninth or one hundredth minute is very very frustrating from all. So really really bad day at the office. Uh, like I said. I don't think we deserve to win the game. Wolves were very, very poor for, throughout. Struggled to create some clear-cut opportunities and ultimately had absolutely nothing going forward today. Really, really missed the, the, the presence of a proper winger and a proper number nine. And that's what we just didn't have today. But, you know, congratulations to Coventry. I uh, brought them an amazing uh, amount of fans today. I, f I felt that roar at the final whistle was probably the loudest I've heard from a wife, a wife set of fans for a long, long time. And I'll see all the best to them in, t in the semi-finals. But for Wolves now, full focus on the league. Let's see if we can push for European football. Difficult, difficult afternoon. But the finish is Wolves 2, Coventry 3. I'll catch you guys very soon.